So what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th Ionic tutorial in which we'll be finally starting off with a simple Ionic application for your mobile devices and yeah so this is the first tutorial for that and I remember I told you that we'll be creating a Dammers file uploader kind of application but I realized that I won't be able to get you a lot of concepts with this application so I have thought about this for a while and I have decided that we'll continue this project but with a different application and our application would be probably like a news feed which would just gather us the latest news the latest happenings in the world kind of from a website now I am making use of a website known as InShots. This is a website, basically this is a very nice app for Android and um, iOS. And it basically just keeps you updated about all the information and all the news going around in the world. And before starting this tutorial, I would suggest you to listen to this carefully whatever we are gonna do in this series like I'm gonna retrieve news from this InShots website actually their terms of service kind of says that um, this is uh, where it was you're not allowed to modify or copy adapt communicate distribute publish download or store any of the contents of InShot app so kind of we are you know just not following the terms of service for this website but since this is for educational purposes i don't think that the administrator would mind a lot so i would highly highly recommend you to do not make use of <clears throat> any code i teach you in the production that is that you don't take it live with your own application or you know your own website by scraping data from InShots I highly recommend you not to do this if you do that you will you know be at risk because of your own things so my job was to inform you about this again do not make use of this code which we are gonna do in this whole mini series in the production server so that being said <clears throat> just practice this code if you want on your computer or you can just simply watch the videos as well so I have actually created a simple API which kind of retrieves data from this InShots website from this read now page basically so I have spent about a half an hour to you know just all of these articles you see right here I have basically created a simple PHP API out of it because InShots does not provide us with a you know API obviously because the terms of service says that so this is the API which I have on my server code dam so for now this is files code dam slash news dot php so this API basically what it does is that it would just retrieve the latest news from this page only which is right now this uh, in shots e and read so the first news is twitter lords goalies match winning knock versus australia so you can see that this is the first title and we have the next news as easter top trend google as you can see so this is a sort of api then we have this last id as a parameter and the use of this would be that when you click on load more some more news loads down here so you can get those news by supplying a last id parameter now i would not be showing you guys how i made this api you know if you know php then obviously you can make this as well because it's not you know that much difficult but i'm not gonna expose the php code for this api so you can make use of this um, codedam.com slash files codedam slash news.php for as an endpoint as long as you know i just don't get a threatening email from this website well if you just you know just try it for educational purposes then there would be no problem at all so 
what we are gonna do in this application is basically with the help of angular and ionic we'll be retrieving the news the latest news from this url because i have simplified a lot of things by creating a simple json api out of this news thing and contains pretty much all of the things like image which is the same image which we have in the articles right here uh, you can see this one right there then we have the title as well then time as well the time of posting the date as well then content and then the link to the full article so this kind of just makes sense for a news strip for your application so what we are going to do is we're going to retrieve this api we are making we are going to make use of this custom api on codedam and then we'll just customize the looks a little bit and add the functionality that whenever somebody you know just clicks it then it the new page is opened and probably a browser for the user on mobile and then we might consider adding an infinite scroll what it would do is when you just kind of you know just reach at the end of the page it would automatically get some older news and uh, that would be on the basis of this last id thing so this would be kind of what we are gonna do so once we visit this page we have the older news now so these news were are the next to the previous news so this is equivalent of clicking the load more button down there so i've created a simple api out of this so um, yeah so that's all we are gonna do for this application and we'll be starting off with programming with this application from the next tutorial onwards so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching